The other question you might have is, what about the plugins that I've got and the extra hardware I've got with my existing system? Plugins that work in EDIUS 7 will probably work in EDIUS 8. The only problem is making sure that they're seen properly in EDIUS 8. So for example, I've got this system here where I used to have EDIUS 7 installed and I've installed EDIUS 8. If you go to the program files directory under Grass Valley and EDIUS 7, you'll see that I've got only a couple of folders left. There's one of those is a plugin folder. And here you can see the plugins that I used to have in EDIUS 7. If I go to the same plugins folder but for EDIUS 8, you can see I've got all the other stuff that's already in EDIUS. And to get these plugins that I had in 7 into 8, all I've got to do is grab hold of everything in that folder and either move it or copy it into the EDIUS 8 plugin folder. And now when I start EDIUS, these plugins will actually all be available. So the ones I've got here are Boris Red, the TMPEG H264 exporter, and VizTitle. And for a lot of plugins, you'll find that works. You can just move the old plugins from the old EDIUS directory into the new plugin directory. If you've installed EDIUS 8 from scratch, you might have a little problem in that you won't have an EDIUS 7 plugins folder. Now with some plugins, like Boris, it's very simple. All I've got to do is just tell it where to put the plugins. With others, you won't be able to install it. So for example, with either the TMPEG plugin or VizTitle, I can't actually install those into EDIUS 8 on a clean system because they just refuse to install. They can't find EDIUS at all. To get something like VizTitle working in EDIUS 8 on a clean system, you're going to need a new installer for VizTitle. VizTitle have said they're going to release this patch quite soon. At the time of making this video, it hasn't actually been uploaded. So if you're putting EDIUS 8 on a clean system, you won't be able to use VizTitle in it until that patch is out. The patch will be free, so all you'll have to do is download it, run the installer, and then you'll have VizTitle working in EDIUS 8. And you might get into the same thing with other plugins. With any luck, you can just point them to the right place and they'll work. Otherwise, you'll actually have to wait for new installers from the people who make the plugins. Hopefully these installers will be free, but of course you can't be sure. Of course, it'll be different if you're coming from EDIUS 6 or EDIUS 5, because those will have older plugins and you need to get something new. As far as operating systems, it's supported by Windows 7, Windows 8, and it appears to work under Windows 10. We've actually been using it on the Windows 10 preview. It's not officially supported yet, and we won't really know for sure until the final version of Windows 10 comes out at the end of July, but it looks very promising. Well, that's a quick run through on all the new things which are inside of EDIUS 8 on its launch at the end of June. There will be more. There'll be a lot of new things added to EDIUS 8 during the next couple of years, which if you've already got EDIUS 8, you'll get those at no cost. We'll do some more videos about those when they actually happen. Our EDIUS 7 tutorial, which has been very popular, is actually still useful for EDIUS 8. Obviously it still has the EDIUS 7 interface, but given that uh, pretty much everything works the same, then if you follow the tutorial for EDIUS 7, it'll be the same in EDIUS 8. We will be updating it, but it'll take us a little bit of time, and then we will be including stuff on the new features when they arrive. Should you rush out now and get EDIUS 8? Well, obviously you've seen a list of the new features, so if any of those are very useful to you, then obviously yes then you should get it straight away. If you're entitled to a free EDIUS 8 because you bought EDIUS 7 in a couple of months to the run-up of the EDIUS 8 launch, then make sure you claim the free copy and get hold of it because there will be a limited time window. You'll only be able to have a month or two to actually claim that. And then, of course, you can jump right in to use EDIUS 8 or you can just leave it until some more features have been added that you want to use. We think EDIUS 8 is a nice little upgrade. We're really looking forward to some of the new features which will be coming along in the next few months and we'll be posting more videos on those as they happen. Don't forget to visit the website www.dvc.uk.com for more information about EDIUS and information on our EDIUS-based systems.